Hello friends, it is the last day. Um, this is our last full day. Steven is done with work, so he is home today helping me just get the final things done. But I think we are in a really good place. After this video is all said and done, I'm going to sit down and do like moving tips and tricks video and just things I learned along the process. In the moment, it's just too hard to do it. So just know that like a more thorough video is going to take place. I have been taking notes. I also am rocking my Movemas merch. Um, all the information is linked below. I want to preface though that we are going to cut away to some random footage that I've been filming over the week and then we will come back and join in real time. So the next clips may make zero sense. If you don't want to watch them, just scroll until I'm back in my green shirts. Um, I took a few days off and I am catching up with everything now. Um, we are just in the final stretch of all the things. We have six days left. Um, just for context, it's Saturday and I am making lunch. It's lunchtime already. I am getting back on Weight Watchers. It's been, I think, since my last day of work and I've been really diligently tracking. So it's been three weeks and I'm down 12 pounds. Um, I'm feeling really, really good. And I think between that and the marathon training, I'm just feeling like, I don't know, I'm just feeling really good. I have been just trying to take better care of myself and getting the good like blood test results and everything has just like inspired me more to take better care of myself. So just tracking my points every day and just trying to be healthy and make good choices. Weight Watchers has always really worked for me. I really always enjoyed it because nothing is off limits and that's super important to me. And once in a while I will go beyond my points and that's just life. Lunch, I wanted to make some pizzas. So I'm just melting the rest of that. But what I have here are my favorite carb balance mission tortillas and then some turkey pepperoni, a, a little pizza sauce, and a little bit of mozzarella cheese. And it's almost perfection. Actually, it might be, I'm gonna let it go for like one more minute. The thing is though, you have to cover it a little bit so the top melts. So that is lunch. Steven took the dogs for a walk and Last night, him and I sat and we made like our final list of things that we need to do. And yes, it looks like a lot, but a lot of these things are things that will take us a second to do. Look how bubbly. So this is going to be lunch today. I'm going to sprinkle it with a little crushed red pepper. And then lastly, just a little Italian seasoning. I'll let that cool off for a little bit. So yeah, we're in the final stretch. We were just talking through all the last minute things we have to do. A lot of the things that are around the house are things that we're like using. So like stuff that is connected to the TV or the internet that kind of stuff hasn't been packed or taken down, but we have to get all the TVs taken down. The other thing that I went and did today is I went to Target and I got this little caddy with all the basic cleaners you would need. So there's a tub and towel, an anti-back, a multi-service Clorox wipes, and I have some magic erasers, scrub daddies to put in here. And this is going to be our caddy for moving day so that we can do a final clean of the house. And then this will go to the Airbnb with us. This will go to the new house with us in April. Um, and then this will stay out as the movers are going. So we have just the basics. We need to finally um, do the final clean of the house. And then this will also travel in the car for the Airbnb. And then also we'll have cleaning supplies when we take over the house on April 18th. So just a little caddy. So you don't have to worry about where your cleaning stuff is and you know you have everything you need to get by. I have some empty bins over there. Steven's picking up some last minute boxes. But yeah, Steven's new makeshift office. Dining room, still, still a mess. Embracing the mess though. 
All right, so I am packing up lamps, and I'm gonna show you how I do that. So along with my lamps, I'm also packing up my sheets. So I laid a layer of my sheets down. I also made sure to take all of these off my lamps and screw the finials on top. And then I use the fitted sheets because they can elasticize around to fit my lamp. And then I tuck it in. I'm gonna put my other lamps in here as well and then pack it full of sheets so none of them move. Like I said, it is our last full day here. Tomorrow morning the movers come and um, we head out. I had to go buy coffee this morning because I already packed up the coffee machine. I also got my hair touched up from uh, Emily who cuts my hair. And she just did one last clean up so it lasts me about four weeks during the move. And that's where we're at. Steven was already busy doing stuff. So we have one last donation pickup coming. So we are donating all of this stuff in here. And then we have trash guys coming um, on tomorrow, right after the movers are done, to throw away any last trash we have in the house so that it's like spotless for the new owners. That feels so weird to say. After my haircut, I ran to Target um, to pick up some things just for the two days of road tripping. Like I said, we're doing half tomorrow and then half the next day because it's like 11 and a half hours total. Just too much for Bubba's and for us personally. So we'll be in separate cars. I'll have Mabel, he'll have Bubba's, but I just grabbed some snacks. Like I told you guys, I've been trying to cut out a lot more flour. So these are gluten-free. They're vanilla wafers and graham crackers. They're really, really good. And then I got some star puffed cheddar crackers. I got some beef jerky, some bark thin, some monster mix, and then some cashews. I'm gonna put these in little snack size bags and then make Steven a basket for his car, a basket for my car, and we will be set to go. As far as groceries, this is all we have left. So I've really worked through the pantry and I made some random things the last couple days. And that the fridge is pretty empty today. I'm going to cut up this lettuce and have it as a salad and try to put the ending on those things in there. This is just some, some of it is kitchen, some of it is random. All the kitchen cabinets are wiped and cleaned out. These cabinets are all empty. There's really not a lot. It looks like a lot of stuff on the surface, but a lot of the stuff is just like quick to put away. We didn't have to, but Steven decided to go through and patch every hole where we mounted anything, and then I repainted them. So like the walls are all in great shape for the owners. But we went through and did all of that. Bubba's is so excited. I'm gonna show you how I set up the car for Mabel. And then I think I'm going to carry the anthropology mirror in one of our cars just because I don't wanna risk it breaking. Here's like all my, <laughs> here's a glimpse of like what vlogging is like. This is all the stuff I need for like vlogging and four different cameras as well as the one I'm holding. But that's where we are at. This is our dog bag. It's one of those bog bags. So we'll pack this up for the dogs. So I'll do the same to Steven's car. I'm taking Mabel with me. Steven is taking Bubba's. So what I've essentially done is I filled the gap here so that she has all of this room. Also, I put this bag because she likes to lay on a lean, like on an arm of a chair. <laughs> so I replicated that for her. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay down one blanket and then I have a yoga mat that I have to take I'm gonna lay that on top and then one more blanket. But like I fill the gap so she has lots of room. Hello friends, it is Saturday morning. It is a little after eight and it is our last day here. We had such a good time yesterday. Um, we ended with like a date night at one of our favorite restaurants, the Erie Canal. And now we're just counting down the time <laughs> so we have everything that we could possibly have done done and now it's just about uh putting some bedding in a bag and calling it a day 
Well, friends, this is it. It's like one o'clock. The movers are all gone. And the house is empty. We are just like doing a little sweeping, vacuuming, um, just to make sure it's pretty tidy when they leave. I mean, when the new people move in, but it's just an empty house now. Isn't it? It's just nuts to think about. I feel like Mabel has no idea what's going on. What's great is we should be able to get to the halfway point around seven o'clock tonight. That gives us a little bit of time. But yeah. It's just empty. It's crazy to just, I don't know. It's been a good house to us. My office that became my office during COVID This is it. Pardon the wind, but a lot of you have always asked to see the outside of our house. And I've always kind of kept it private just for security reasons. But this is the outside of our beautiful home that has served us well. Sorry for the wind, I can't control nature. But this is our yard down here. We have this amazing hill that always would be so good for sledding. But this is our house. 75. You've tra treated us so well. We're gonna miss it. Look how beautiful the sky is today. Garage is all empty. One last. <gasps> Someone's in here. What? <laughs> do, you, do you have a final farewell? Yes. Divide our house for nine, it's been almost nine years. Yeah. Has it been nine years? Yeah. It would have been nine years. How you feeling? Nostalgic, sentimental, a little bit depressed, exhausted. Well, we still have a long trip to make today. It's not that long. It's not that long. It's like five and a half hours. Yeah. Um, hopefully these doggies will. They took some medicine to help them sleep. Mabel's already feeling it. She's, she is. She just wants to go to bed. All right, so I'm gonna do it one last time in this house. Take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind, kindness is free, give it to everyone until next time, which will be very soon, bye-bye. Hello everyone, Mabel and I are in Charlotte. It is about 4.30 on Sunday. Steven should be here anywhere between 4.30 and five. He has had a treacherous trip. He could not find a charger for his car last night. He didn't get to our, the place where we stayed last night till 2 a.m. He got about four or five hours of sleep. I, like, I'm heartbroken for how this worked out for him. Um, we've been so blessed and everyone is safe, absolutely, but it was definitely stressful for him. So I'm trying to make it up. I got here and I got my car unloaded. I'm not gonna let him touch his car. I'm gonna do all of it, unload everything, and then I, and making him his favorite dinner. So I have meatballs from scratch and spaghetti and a salad and garlic bread and I'm gonna make that for him for dinner. <clears throat> and I'm trying to time it that it's ready as soon as he gets home. This is our adorable little place for I think 10 days. Um, it's We didn't want anything big. We just needed a place to be safe and enjoy our time. So this is like the little living area. And then there are two bedrooms, really adorable bathroom, a place for us to do our laundry. But the reason we 
opted for this place is because look at the fenced in backyard. Hold on, let me go to this window. Look at this fenced in backyard for the dogs to run and play in and that we can just let them out. That is a game changer. As you know, we don't have a fenced in yard for them. So <laughs> we sometimes have to chase them. So having a fenced in yard will be just a lovely, lovely thing. I um, don't want to put a camera in Steven's face when he gets here. So I'm going to do the first official um, sign off and I'm going to work on editing all the footage together and try to make a mismatch of a vlog. But take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind, kindness is free, give to everyone. Until next time, which will be very soon. Bye-bye.